This week, I show you how to keep your photograph safe. It took me a while to build a file system that worked on my computer, but this is how I do it. I put the date in numerical order. So I put the year first, then the month, and then the date. This way, everything will be in numerical and chronological order. I also give it a short description so I can very quickly see where the images are. So say for instance, I wanna know when I shot pictures, say in the Liwa Desert, and I knew I shot them sometime in 2017, I'll find them quickly. I tend to do it this way so I know where the images are. I don't have Lightroom putting it where it thinks I want them. I take control of building my file system on my hard drives and on my backup system. And I actually use this everywhere. I use it on Dropbox, I use it on my hard drives, I use it on my NAS drive, so I have it everywhere. Also, if your Lightroom catalog becomes detached from your photos, you'll easily be able to find them. They won't be just in a in a date folder and a number without any description. So as you can see, a description really helps and it's vital. I shoot with a Sony a7R, so the files are pretty big. I don't back up my raw images to the cloud, but I do back up my finished edited photos. So I've always got a copy of those. Some people might do this differently, but I find this works for me. What I do with my raw files is back them up to a hard drive. So I've got my NAS or some external hard drives and the backup RAW files sit on these. So I'll basically have two, if not three copies of everything. Remember, if one of those drives fails, you've only got one copy. So then back that up again, so then you end up having two copies. This is why it's good to have three copies almost. So if one fails, you've always got two left over. If you use Lightroom, as well as backing up your RAW files, remember to back up your Lightroom catalog. Editing takes a while, so there's a lot of time put into your edited photos. So if you don't back up your catalog and it becomes corrupt or you lose it or delete it by mistake, it's a real pain. So just remember to back up your Lightroom catalog. I don't know about with you, but for me, processing the same image twice can sometimes be a little bit of a chore, especially when you have thousands of images. So just remember, back up your Lightroom catalog. Now, I don't know if this is scientifically true, but I always think that formatting the card in the gadget that you're gonna be using it in makes sense. It's formatting the card in the right way for that camera. Then the card will be in the best format for that device. If you have a few memory cards, buy a memory card holder. It'll keep them safe and stop them getting damaged. Then when you're shooting, if you fill up a memory card, Put the memory card back in the case upside down. When you're shooting, you'll know which cards to get next and which cards are full. Then at the end of the day, when you get home, you'll know which cards you have to back up. During the shoot through the day, you might have an urge to look at your images and then delete the ones you don't like. Like say for instance, the ones that are out of focus or the ones that are blurry. Try and resist this and try and buy enough memory to cover this. Memory is cheap, so just buy enough cards so you've got enough for the day shoot. Gone are the days where you only have 24 or 36 images and have to change the film roll. I even remember my first digital camera having the capacity of four images. Nowadays, memory is so cheap, so get enough memory cards to cover the day. And that's about it. If you have any other ways of keeping your photographs safe, leave a comment below or drop me an email. It'll be great to hear your ideas. As always, give us a thumbs up if you like what you see, a thumbs down if you didn't. If you want to see weekly tutorials, hints and tips, subscribe and turn on notifications. I'll see you in the next one.